Hey loves, it's your girl April and today's makeup look is going to be using the two new Morphe eyeshadow palettes which you can get as a double set. Saves you about a couple of dollars but this is the 35OM and the 35OS which I'm absolutely in love with. So I will be featuring these two products in my makeup look. And just to show you a sneak peek, this is the 35OM which is nothing but matte colors, really gorgeous very well pigmented I will tell you that as well as the 35 OS it's kind of the shimmer palette and it's kind of like the twin sister to the 35 OM and these are super duper pigmented colors so on top of that I'm going to also be using some other affordable products which is the hard candy brand which you can actually pick up at your local drugstores like Walmart Target CVS or Walgreens I do have their camouflage foundation unfortunately the darkest color in their foundation is tan which is not catered to women of color but this is a great highlight for underneath your eyes so I will be using this one here which is in the color medium tan along with that I'm going to be using a couple of colors from their eyeshadow palette which is really affordable you can pick this up also from Walmart and to set my face I'm also going to be using the hard candy fast and fabulous setting spray which I have used a few times and it does actually work opposed to like a lot of the really expensive brands this is something really inexpensive so it does work I will tell you guys that on top of that I'm also going to be featuring a 24 makeup brush roll which you can pick up from jollychic.com I'll post their information below for this you can get this for a really low price if you download the Jolly Chic app on your mobile device it does take iOS and Android you can get a $20 bonus as well as that as you can use code muffin and you can get a 10% discount at time of checkout so these brushes are really bright in color this is in a nylon roll and I think there's like 24 brushes in this and I have used some of them as you can see in the actual video here and actual brushes so really nice brushes really affordable and you can check out jollychic.com for that and I'll post their information along with the promo code below and make sure you download their app for your mobile devices and you can get a $20 bonus so on top of that there's a couple other products that I will be posting in the video and I'll link everything for you girls below and as for the hair that I'm rocking today this is the Vanessa brand synthetic lace front which is called robust and it's kind of like the sister twin sister to the outre Nisha but a lot more tameable and it doesn't frizz up as bad. So being that the weather is really hot out here, I decided to pin it up like I've been wearing for the past few days. And I absolutely love this hair. Like, absolutely love it. So yes, you guys, stay tuned for this video. I hope you enjoy. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Okay, ladies, so let's get into this video. I am so excited to be doing this makeup look. So as you see here, I'm going to be using some Milani eyeshadow primer. You can get this anywhere. Walgreens, CVS. Um, I'm not really sure about Walmart, but a lot of CVS's and Walgreens, you can get this. And I'm also going to be using the Emma New York eyeshadow, which is in color Park Avenue Pink. I use this on top of the primer because it kind of like sets the primer and also kind of brightens the eyes. So that way it makes the transition of eyeshadow go on a lot smoother opposed to me trying to blend in eyeshadow directly on the primer. So I do think that this is a lot easier and I'm just going to be using one of my fluffy Sonia Kashuk brushes. Now into the new Morphe palette. This is the 35OM palette and this is all matte colors. Ladies, OMG, I am loving this palette. Like seriously, this is a beautiful palette. I really, really am feeling this. I did pick these, um, I picked this up as a set. So I did get the 35OM and the 35OS together, which is kind of the same, but one is all matte and one is all shimmer. And let me tell you, yas, like they would say, yas. They are so pigmented, like seriously, they will have your lids on fleek. So yes, make sure you pick up that Morphe palette for sure. I love it. And I'm just going to use a couple more colors. I'm going to be using my tapered um, brush here, which is by MAC. Um, I think this brush here, the number on this brush is the 226. And I absolutely love this brush. You can get a dupe from it, and that is from SedonaLace.com. I will have the link down below and that's part of my favorites websites but they have some really great brushes which are so similar to MAC brushes and they're a lot more affordable 
but for this time around I'm just going to use the 226 by MAC. I've had this brush for ages and I rarely use it because I more or less use the Sedona brush. So yes. Now like I was saying this is the 35OM palette by Morphe and I absolutely love it. I got it a few days ago and I've been using it ever since. So I'm going to go into kind of like this rustic color brown, orangish kind of color and I'm also going to put that into my crease color. As you can see these colors are so pigmented. They go on so smooth and just so nicely. All you got to do is go back and forth. You don't need a lot of them. I have five of their palettes so far and I'm going to be honest and say this is like one of my favorite palettes. I do have the 35K, the 35T and um, I can't remember the other ones but this one right here is like my favorite one and then the next one would be the shimmer one. Now into the hard candy palette, like I said you can pick these products up at Walmart. This is the birthday suit palette, um, eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to use the lightest color in it. It's really a very matte. If you're into neutrals then this is a great palette and I love the brush that I'm using from it which is the Jolly Chic um, roll brush. I think there's 24 brushes in that roll but these are some really great brushes. Now out of all the 24 brushes I'm not going to say that all 24 are my favorite but this one right here which is more or less a flat brush, very flat, I guess this would be for eyeliner. I love this brush. It picks up really great product. There are some brushes out of the 24 that I'm not a huge fan of. But opposed to that, there's probably like only like two or three that I'm not a huge fan of out of 24. The brush kit is amazing. Now for this one right here, same kit, um, same Morphe 35 OM. I'm going to take like this reddish color and I'm going to take that same brush and I'm just going to place this right into my crease. This is a absolute beautiful color. Oh my god, this palette is amazing. I really do like Morphe brushes. And I had to scratch my head a little bit because my hair was itching. But like I was saying, I do love Morphe brush, Morphe palettes. I only have a few of their brushes. I have so many brushes I don't need any more. But as for their eyeshadow palettes, oh, they are amazing. Now, I'm not really sure about my brows here. I did change my eyebrow um, makeup. I went back to my CoverGirl Ink It um pencil because the Anastasia brow dip just seemed like it dried out so fast and for $18 I'm not going to continue to keep paying $18 for something that doesn't really last that long and besides that I did love my CoverGirl brow um, CoverGirl ink it so I went back to that and it's a little bit darker so now onto the 35 OS as you can see the colors are shimmered very pretty and I'm going to use like this really light one along with one of those Jolly Chic brushes so yeah, like I was saying about the brows, um, I do like Anastasia brow dip, but it doesn't last long. It dries up. You can barely use it all, and it was kind of like a waste to me. Um, after purchasing uh, twice, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go back to what I know the best, which is my CoverGirl Ink It Pencil in Cocoa. So it's a little bit darker. I do have other um, brow items that I would use, such as my, um, oh my god. I'm losing my mind but anyway so this right here is the black radiance eyeliner gel I finally went out and got some black eyeliner gel now I will be honest and say this is not one of my favorites so if you guys don't know black radiance is also by wet and wild um, so yes that is the same company parent company to black radiance and I wasn't really a huge fan of this black um, eyeliner gel it's not black enough to, for me but it was what I could get at the time being so you know what I just decided to use it you know it's better than nothing at all um, and I'm really not that great with doing eyeliner so I'm gonna try this little trick out again which is the Nivea Men's Shave Balm you know they say this is really great for people with oily skin etc etc I'm not really sure how true that is I've used this before and let me tell you my skin is still oily and it really didn't help with my makeup but anyway on to my lashes as you guys know these are individuals so they do last on to my lashes or my lids about two weeks and the lash mascara that I'm using is by Essence this is the triple black mascara which you can pick up at Ulta for two dollars and ninety nine cents oh I love this foundation this is Ardency in um, Americana foundation and what I'm showing right now is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation however the Ardency in Americana foundation is very thick it's so full coverage, but you do need to mix it with something. You can put a couple of droplets of your BB cream, your CC cream, another foundation, illuminator, whatever you want to thin it out, and that is what suggest is suggested. This foundation lasts the entire day. Plus, for someone like myself with oily skin, 
it works just amazing for me and I absolutely love it. So of course it does look a little bit too dark, but once I use this here, which is the Hard Candy Camouflage Foundation in the color medium tan, like I said, I'm going to be using this for under eye highlight as well as other portions of my face as a highlight. But yes, it does look a little bit dark on my face. I have been self tanning, but this right here, um, this highlight is going to basically dull everything down and it will work itself out, ladies. Meaning it will work itself out. But opposed to that, the Heart Candy Foundation, it does say that it's great for oily skin, it's full coverage. Now, I will tell you this, I do have their Gamouflage or Camouflage Concealer, which I absolutely love, it's amazing. And this right here is their foundation. I'm going to have to use it as I would use the concealer, unfortunately, because they don't really cater to women of color, but it is what it is. Now, as for these brushes, I do have a full makeup tutorial look on these brushes that I was sent from one of a vendors on Amazon. And I will tell you this, the brushes, I got the entire set. I'm not like a huge fan of them. I do like some. The ones for your eyelids, they're really awkward to use, so I wouldn't suggest buying an entire set if you need be. They're really great for foundation and such. As far as, far as doing eye makeup, they're very, very awkward to use, but they do a great job for eye makeup, um, for facial makeup. Now, as you can see, I love Morphe, so I'm going to be using their 9C Contour and Highlight Palette. I'm on pan, so I'm going to have to kind of like suffice and use the other colors together or else it's just a waste. I don't really use the contour colors because they are more or less cool colors, cool color browns, and I like warm colors. So yes, the highlight palette will go to my daughter. Now, you guys seen this in many of my videos. This is the NYX go-to palette and I love this palette. It's like 15 bucks at Ulta. You get, I think it's either six or eight eyeshadows, a contour, a blush, and a highlight, and it's amazing. And I love the contour color in it because it's more or less a warm brown, and this is the color that I love. Plus, the contour in it, honeys, yas, yas. The contour or the highlight color in it, rather, the highlight color in it will have you on fleek. Oh my God, the highlight in it is blinding. Like seriously, blinding. Okay, so if you're looking for a highlight, check out the go-to palette. They have two palettes, but they both have the same contour and highlight and blush colors. Other than that, the eyeshadow colors differ from one another. But yes, highlight will have you blinding everyone and on fleek. Now to just do my under eyes, I'm going to go back into that Morphe Shimmer Palette, which is a 35 OS, and I'm going to kind of use like this rustic shimmer orangish color color um, just to bring my eyes out a little bit and I'm gonna go right into the hard candy palette again and I'm gonna kind of use this navy blue because I don't have a black on hand now it is a great palette but honestly it's not as pigmented as I would have liked it to be so I do have to do a few swipes with this palette and just for my inner tear duct I'm going to use that same color that I use on my bottom or lower lids now just to do my bottom lashes, I'm going to go back into the Essence Triple Black Mascara, which I did say you could pick up from Ulta for $2.99. Now one of my favorite pressed foundations is the Pure Minerals 401. Oh my God, I love this stuff. Now as you can see, it's making my color a little bit more natural looking so it doesn't look too dark as you've seen prior with just the Americana Artist In foundation. And for some highlight, I'm going to be using one of my old time favorites, which is Heart Candy. This is the Tiki Blush, Baked Blush but I use it as a highlight, it's awesome. I've had this for years, I bought two of them. I've never got to use the second one. I've given that away to my daughter, but this is a really great highlight. I got this from Walmart years ago, years and years ago. So if you guys see my old channel, you'll see that I've used this a lot. Plus this is another one of the blushes from Hard Candy that I've also had for years as well. And it's very, very illuminating. And if you're looking for that yas, hunty yas look, then try it out. And the last to set my face, I'm going to be using the Hard Candy Fast and, Fast and Fabulous Setting Spray. This actually does work. 
And one of my favorite new lip glosses or lip, liquid lipsticks is the NYX Abu Dhabi. And I absolutely love this color. It's not a pink. It's more or less a neutral color. And it's absolutely amazing. And I just love colors like this because it went really well with my eye look. And I love it. Now, as you can see, here goes my wig, and I will post the link below to where you can watch this wig and also get 10% off on your purchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay diva and delicious, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye!